a message. What's up, real fan? I'm back. I wanted to do what I hope will be a quick video as I do my hair. This is my favorite hair grease. I guess something in my mouth. I'm going to be applying it in my hair. My hair was washed last night, so it was kind of damp. And I also re dyed it, touched up the color to the best of my ability. It's not the best in the world, but hey, whatever. Gonna have to do. And I'm gonna be talking while applying my grease. This is my normal routine. Oh, I'm probably gonna give myself some more braids while doing this. Something like that. So, I have a big mirror in front of me, so I'm gonna be looking at the mirror mostly while talking to you guys. So, I wanted to tell you guys that I wanted to tell you guys not to feel discouraged if you need a break from the people who have done you wrong. That smells so good. Oh, that was a mouthful. Well, it's just simply that. Um, if you've been through any severe trauma like I have and you need a break from the people who've done you wrong yet they keep trying to force themselves on you and you know it's cool they apologize and all but you know it's too soon for their apologies to really mean anything not only that but you know sometimes in the aftermath of things sometimes in the aftermath of abuse or in the aftermath of any trauma or severe wrongdoing you just want to be left the hell alone in the case of my family um, my parents have always so-called tried to help me out of it in the aftermath or they called themselves helping me out of it or helping me through it. Everything they were trying to do was um, supposedly to help me, but it was way too soon for one. They didn't give me a chance to breathe and figure myself out. And two, no one ever asked me what I wanted at that time. To be honest, nobody ever asked me what I wanted and how I was feeling. It was just, you know, oh, we're sorry. We're going to keep telling you sorry a million times. You know, we're going to help you do this. We're going to help you do that. Um, This was like years ago, by the way. And that's all it was at the time my parents. Ooh. And they just kept going on that road. So well, they were trying to help me. But again, like I said, everything was too soon. From the time I had to run out of my house to get married. And the moment I did get married and I was living with my, my husband and my mother-in-law and his brothers, then my parents started panicking over the fact that, oh my God, you guys don't want to be annoyed there and blah, blah, blah. And they were just pressuring us too much around that time. Now, this correlates to what I'm seeing as far as um, the point of this video. I'm sorry, I said that all wrong. The point of this video is to say that don't feel bad if you feel like you need a break from everyone. Especially the people who have done you wrong. If you need a break from those people, don't be afraid to say it. It's going to be hard at first, I'm not going to lie. Because at first, I didn't want to tell my mom anything. I didn't want to tell my dad anything. I didn't want to. I was afraid of the repercussions of telling them, leave the hell alone. Like, stay away, I need a break. I need to figure my life out. I need to breathe without you telling me what to do. I need to breathe without you down my neck. I need to find myself, you know? And they were so harping on trying to help me and they were just doing too much. They're doing things I didn't ask for, like I said. And they never asked me what I wanted. It was just about what they wanted and what they wanted for my life in order to get better or what they thought would be helpful for my life to be better. And that's what was happening um, in the first couple years of my marriage until you know it, and it wasn't fun I felt bad all that time I felt bad for wanting everybody out of my face and I look back at it now and that really was not fair to me it wasn't fair that I felt like I still had to cater to my parents because oh we're trying to help you now I didn't feel like what they were doing was help your version of help is not helping me. Who said you were helping me, you know? How about asking me how I want to be helped instead of trying to just get in there and help me, you know? It just, 
just simple communication, you know, that was not going on then. They didn't know how to engage me as far as, okay, we fucked up real bad and we knew it. And all we could think about was, you know, let's go to church, let's get church therapy, let's hang out. Let's, you know, do this and do that. And I'm, it, it was, it was too much. And like I said, for years, I felt ashamed to tell them that I didn't want anything to do with them. So when I finally did, it felt weird, but it was like a huge burden off my shoulders. And that didn't come for like a long time. I don't remember when, it, when that day came. It was so long ago, y'all. It was so long ago after multiple marriage issues and bouts of homelessness and multiple kids. It was in the middle of all of that. And I finally had the balls to tell my parents to fuck off. And it was just... It was great. It was... <laughs> what's the word? Not enlightening, but um, it was freeing. It was the best way I could put it at the moment. It was very freeing because I knew I had to do it for a long time. And my husband was telling me I needed to do it. And I knew that, but I was so afraid then. That was then. I was so afraid that, you know, even though I knew they weren't going to harm me or anything, but, you know, my dad, he still had the potential to do certain things, and I was just deathly afraid, and it, it just came a day where I said, nope, stop, pause, put the brakes on, y'all get out of here, because y'all are not helping me figure out my life how I want to figure out my life, you know? And that's the thing with people sometimes. Um, they so-called want to help but they don't, they don't ask you how you want to be helped. It's kind of like when people give unsolicited advice. It's like when you don't ask for advice. But people just get offered it anyway. And it's like, I didn't ask for any advice. I didn't tell you I needed help. Yes, I do need help. But you're not asking me how. You're not um, even telling me. You're not giving me an opportunity to learn myself or figure out my own situation for once. And that's what they were doing. That's what my parents were doing for how long. And y'all, that had to stop. I had to stop because I wasn't growing up. Not only that, but I couldn't, I just couldn't breathe. I just could not breathe at all. Like, at all. So, um... Like I said, I am here to tell you, do not be afraid. If you have the means to cut off your parents or whoever has done you wrong, because you need some time to get to know yourself, you need some time to kind of figure some things out, do not be afraid to have those feelings. Those feelings are hella valid. They're there for a reason. You deserve to figure your life out. You deserve to not get unsolicited advice all the time. You deserve to not have people stick their hands and heads in your business even though they are the ones that fucked you up now if you're a minor you might not have a choice but if you're not a minor if you're a grown ass person you can start figuring out your own stuff and you don't necessarily need to be worried about said person hurting you again now if you're in a position where that's not the case then you need to find a way to get a restraining order on that person because you know some, some abusers are forceful you know even in the aftermath when everybody don't know, everybody knows what they did, but they're still forceful. They still want to come and still sexually abuse you or still threaten you, still beat you up some kind of way, still sabotage what you're doing. People do do that, you know. It ain't all over just because everybody knows the deal now. You can told the whole family what's going on, and all of a sudden they're like, oh, okay, well, now I see what's going on. Oh, crap. But... In, in my case, when it's a big crime, and the person doesn't go to jail, you know, that only gives them the bigger head. And that only gives the perpetrator, the narcissist, the abuser, a bigger head. In order to say, oh yeah, okay, everybody around me is going to protect me regardless. Everybody's going to protect me. Doesn't matter how I go off. Doesn't matter how I portray myself. I can still throw tantrums and, um still torture said person if I want to and that's what happened with me for so long y'all my dad was torturing me even so so much even after the fact in other ways throughout my marriage it was just torture he tortured me and my husband in many ways y'all know my story if you don't then go back and watch because I'm not explaining all that 
But anyway, when him and I finally got tired of the torture, me and my husband, um, it felt free because we both had to tell them no, like, stop trying to help, you're not fucking helping. It was hell awkward. Um, it was awkward, but like I said, it had to be done, so. Y'all, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to confront your parent, mom, sister, brother, whoever. Uncle or cousin. <clears throat> if you are a grown ass person and you are in a situation where you need to heal for yourself and you need some people to back the hell off, don't be afraid to tell them to back the hell off. Because sometimes it's got to be done. No one's going to be paying attention to you but you. No one's going to be caring about your feelings but you. And, um, sometimes you just need time. Time heals all. They don't say that for no reason. Time really does heal all. I'm not saying I'm completely healed from everything, but it really does heal all uh, in a sense. Um, it heals a lot of things. That's just what time does, naturally. And, um, it starts to heal wounds from the past. Some things take longer than others, but either way, Time heals, so you are valid for wanting that time. Don't let anybody tell you that you don't deserve that time. Don't let anybody pressure you into saying, "Oh, but it's, but he's your dad, or but it's his, but it's your mom, oh, but that's your aunt. She loves you so much." And blah blah blah. Uh uh, that's just that's just plain narcissistic talk. They need to stop and let you breathe. Let you get over the situation. Let you get over the trauma. Let you get over. The wrongdoing that was done to you, being to let you get over the trauma without freaking bombarding you. You deserve that right. Everybody deserves that right. You know, without forcing shit down your throat. I mean, the only thing I would take if it was available at the time was, um, well, if my mom was able to do that then, if she was offering therapy to me. And I don't mean Christian therapy, I don't mean going to some church counselor. And praying the shit away. I don't mean that because we did do that. Didn't care. It didn't work. <laughs> Y'all know how that can go. So, I mean, an actual um, psychiatrist. But she wasn't trying to do that at the time. I never got the proper therapy at the time. That's not. That was not what she was. What she was offering. That was not it. There was one time I was trying to go for myself, and I was trying to bring my father along with me. Um, but then I couldn't afford it for that long, so that kind of dropped off. That sucked, and right when it did drop off, you know, he was still acting a fool in other regards, and it all, that all led to led up to the point where I had to cut him off. <clears throat> that led up to the point where I finally had to just say, you know what, I need some time. I need some serious time. And I don't feel bad for getting that time. You know, it is what it is. People gotta breathe. <sighs> this video wasn't supposed to be quite this long, but I had a couple of points to get across. And as you can see, I have a lot of hair. My hair is kind of fine in a way, though. It's not very dense. It's kind of fine and not very dense, so my braids are not gonna look super thick. But this is just how my hair is. It's in a very healthy state right now. So I am proud. I'm trying to keep it healthy by keeping up with this routine. You know, this hair grease. Bomb. A lot of people went back to hair grease um, a while ago. You know, it's, it's been coming back around. You know, hair grease works. Hair grease is not the devil. Hair grease is sticking up my hair again. My hair used to not be as thick at the roots as it is now, nowhere near it. After having five kids, my hair had thinned out a lot. I had a lot of hair problems, which is why I had like three big chops in the middle of being natural for like 12 years, literally. I had three big chops, but my hair was waist, waist length, just about waist length. The longest piece of my hair was touching my waist each time I cut it. So yeah, I'm coming back around to that again. And I'm so happy because my hair grows hella fast, despite all its shortcomings. My hair grows hella fast. So, I am grateful for that. So as long as I stick to my routine, 
you know, throughout this winter and all, and all that, you know, the cold weather wreaks havoc on your hair. I've been keeping my hair pinned every time I go out now because it's cold. I don't want the cold, hair, cold air to dry my hair out. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys take that as food for thought and apply it to your situation. Ship. <laughs> and be happy. Because these are little life lessons that we all need to learn. I learned the hard way. But who doesn't? Most people do. Because if your parents don't know to teach you something, you're not going to know something. So that's why we got all these generational curses floating around. We got a lot of angry people floating around. We got families who can't get together for shit because there's so much anger going around. Nobody gives each other space and time to heal. Nobody lets one another talk so they can heal. You know, all of that is going on. There's a lot of it. And, you know, we're supposed to be getting better with it. I hope we are. In the midst of this severe technology age where people are so damn busy and all that, being in distraction, I mean distracted, I really hope that it's getting better because we need it. We need to fix these generational curses or black families will never learn to come together. It just won't happen. I don't think it's going to fully happen anyway, but hey, you can only start with your family. We can't change the world. <laughs> I ain't trying to change the world. I just want to fix what's going on within my family because it needs to be fixed. So, um, that's just about it. That's all I've had to say. I think I turned up the video, but then I'm like, eh, let me finish up my last two braids, maybe. I guess y'all don't mind watching me finish up these last two braids. <laughs> Cause then I have to cook dinner well not yet it's 4 30 but yeah I can start prepping dinner I need to start prepping dinner anyway <sighs> but I'm very proud of myself I've come a long way I have come a long long way in my healing journey without consistent therapy grateful for that because not a lot of people can go without therapy and medication and um you know go into the mental hospital all that kind of stuff not a lot of people get through life without experiencing some of that you know severe suicide attempts all of it not really people can get through um trauma or certain types of trauma without it i am stronger than i give myself credit for and i know that but really realizing it more and more is always helpful you know give yourself credit where it's due because we all deserve it what the? Yeah, I left out a piece of hair somewhere I need to make sure it's in there yeah, yeah. I really wish I had money to get my hair professionally colored <laughs> Because I have like so many different colors in my hair right now. Sometimes it starts looking kind of wonky. But hey, I don't have a choice. I ain't got, I ain't got no two, three hundred dollars to go to a hair salon, a natural hair salon who I trust to do my hair and color it right. I just don't have it like that. That's ridiculous. This is why I always do my own hair. And so far, I've been doing well with the health of it. As always, I've been always um, doing well with the health of it. Ow. I've been natural for 12 years, almost 13 years. No, it is 13 years. Because my last perm was before I even had my first child. I was pregnant with her when I, when I stopped my perms because I was already going to stop perms. But me getting married and getting pregnant made me stop the perms even more. It gave me a huge reason to not get, get any perms, any relaxers, because I heard that they could potentially harm the baby. So I was like, uh, no, fuck no. Stop that shit right now. So I haven't had one since. And it's been bliss. I do not miss them. My hair doesn't need it. I don't miss it at all. I've been loving learning my hair, learning my curls over these past 13 years, experimenting, you know, learning my hair, 
doing different things, coloring it, bleaching it, making mistakes, trying new things, you know, all that. It's been, it's been great. But yeah, my hair is not very dense, as you can see. Look at the back of it. It's not that dense. But it's all good, you know. As I said, I had a lot of setbacks. Being that I had five kids, which drained all the nutrients from me. Whereas my hair and teeth were lacking for a long time. I have a lot of teeth issues right now. Because of, you know, genetics and pregnancies. <laughs> but it is what it is. I'm still here. I still got hair and I still got teeth. Most of my teeth, rather. So, I'm happy. And I'm done. Hopefully, I won't need rubber bands in the end of these. Sometimes I need rubber bands. Or sometimes I put rubber bands in the ends of my twists, I mean braids, so they don't unravel. Sometimes I do that. Um, but sometimes the rubber bands pop if I accidentally get the cheap kind. It'll pop on me. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm just now greasing my scalp a bit. And stuff. And yeah, that's it. I am done. That took about 20 minutes. Hmm. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys learned something. If you take what I said as food for thought, do not be afraid to tell people who have harmed you that you need some time to get over what they, what they did. Don't, don't let them tell you that you don't have that right. Or, oh, it's over with. You should be done by now. You know, you should be um, done by, um, or you should be done grieving by this amount of years or this amount of days. Uh uh. That's not how shit works. It works on your timing only. Only when you are comfortable dealing with that person, then you should, you know, feel comfortable dealing with them or go deal with them. But don't feel pressured. It is not your fault. You deserve that right to breathe. I wish I had known that sooner. We would be a lot of moves soon. But, oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait, I have four rays over here and three on the other side. Oh, shit, I forgot to split one of them. How? Oh, well. I like doing it even. This one's supposed to be splitting the two, I believe. Oh, well, I might fix it later. <laughs> oh, I gotta go put this stuff away and whatnot. I'm get to preparing dinner, so. I thank you guys, well, I hope you guys are having a great day, day second hour, month, minute, and month, or year. <laughs> thank you for watching. Peace out.